this is Stampy, and welcome to part number two of the sister challenge. I'm here being joined by Nettie, my sister. Hello. No, come on, work, come on. Let's <laughs> put your hands down and start watching. Come on, we got, we got a time limit here. The sun's already going down again. If you didn't see the last episode, basically my sister's first challenge is to build a house and spend a night in it. After a day's work, this is the progress on the house we've made so far. <laughs> Are you having fun though? Yeah. That's the important thing, right? You go gather up some more dirt, uh, just to fill in these last few blocks. We could have a, a house without a roof for the first night, I guess, because <laughs> I, I think we don't have a choice. So if you go switch back to your shovel and then just go to a hill somewhere and just hold right trigger, maybe go a little bit away from your house, otherwise you can have horrible potholes all over the place, which you'll fall down regularly. <laughs> and so what, what the sister challenge is basically, is it's my sister playing, she's never played Minecraft before and barely played any sort of video game, certainly not on Xbox with a controller. So she's she's struggling a little bit, but she's getting better already. After just yeah. 20 minutes, she's, she's getting the, the hang of things. And uh, she's got three challenges. The first one is the one I said about. She needs to spend a night in a house that she's built by herself. She then uh, needs to bake and eat a cake, which I think is a very glorious thing for someone to do in Minecraft. And then the third and final thing, which um, <laughs> suddenly starting to realize how difficult it will be, uh, she needs to go mining right down to the bottom of the world and try and find <laughs> a diamond. And diamonds are very rare, normally in dangerous places. So it's gonna be tough. So if you look up a little bit, you can start breaking some of that dirt above your head and then you can move forward and start <laughs> grabbing the rest of the dirt. You've, you've almost got enough to finish off your house now. So what I'd do is I'd go run to your crafting table and make a door and then just okay. build the rest of your house from the inside and your bed as well. So if you charge forward and grab all those last pieces of dirt, ooh, ooh. you go and left a bit, forward. Yeah, if you just run and jump forward, there you go. And maybe, maybe break that one block and walk forward just to get all the rest of it. There we go, you should have more than enough now. So if you want to run back to your crafting table, Remember that if you go forward and left? Oh, there's your house. Can you see your house on the horizon? <laughs> Beautiful. Home sweet home. Right, so if you go to your left a little bit, you see there's that random wooden planks there Ooh, to your ow. left. <laughs> no, wrong one. <laughs> the sheep are there like, what are you doing? What what has Stampy Cat had for breakfast? He's all over the place. Right, so if you go to that crafting table, look down at it. So look right and down. Down a little bit more, up a little bit. There we go. Now press left trigger. Okay, you want to make a few more wooden planks. So if you just press A once on the on the far left, huh? there you go. Press A once there. You make some more wooden planks. Uh, press it once more. Make a few more. There we go. And now you can see on the the right there's a door. You see the door? Yeah. Keep keep heading over to the right. Then press A on the door, and then yeah. magically you have a door. Yay! Yay! Now press B, and uh, I'd break the uh, crafting table because you want to take it with you. So when you break a block, most things it doesn't destroy it. You can just pick it up. So if you hold right trigger then uh, it might take a little while because oh. it's like wood. Uh, then you'll smash the crafting table and you can take that with you. And then you want to go and do the exact same thing with the oh. bed. <laughs> yeah, bury the crafting table, they won't find it. Oh, oh, oh. oh come on. <laughs> there we go. The first time I've seen you having trouble falling in a hole. That's all you've done up until now. Okay, you've got to be quick now. Go left, uh, go left, 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 uh, left, left. Oh no, no. Go, 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 oh. you've got to grab the bed. You've got to grab the bed. Help. Stop looking at yourself in the face. I know Stampy Cat's very pretty, but you can't just stare yourself in the face. Right, go go to go to the bed and just hold right. <laughs> Whenever you panic, you do that. I do the same, I'll be honest. Right, so if you look down at the bed and then press right trigger, and you'll smash oh. the bed up. Then you, then you can put the bed in your pocket. And then okay. now if you walk over to the house, you can put the bed down. You've got to be really quick because the uh. googlies are going to be spawning any second now. Luckily, oh, no. the sheep's there keeping guard. Go forward, go forward, go forward. <laughs> you can't see, but she's actually leaned right in next to the screen right now. Okay, so do so, I do the door? Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, press left bumper a few times. Oh, oh. oh you've got to be really quick because something's going to be spawning. Yep, yeah. and one more. Okay, then you want to look down at the floor. Don't press it until I tell you oh. to. I'll tell you when to. So look down, down a little bit. Stop! Now press left trigger. Oh no! Left trigger. No. <laughs> Gotta go, go, go back to the door. Don't press left trigger now. Go to the door. Now press left trigger. That's it. Yeah. Okay, now press left trigger again and you open the door. Then run inside as quick as you can. Run, uh, run, 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 run. Now turn around and shut the door. Uh, I can't turn shut around. the door. There we go. Look left a bit. Right. Okay, try and shut this. You've got to look actually on the door. So look a tiny bit to uh, your right. Oh. That's it, a little bit, little, little bit left. Tiny bit <laughs> left. There we go. Okay, now fill in that final block because things are just going to jump uh, through that. It might be nice having a window for now, but any 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 zombie or whatever could climb Help. through that. So go to your dirt, your building material of choice. Now press left trigger. There we go. Right now, place down the bed, and we'll see whether it's going to let you sleep or not. If there's things nearby, it won't let you. So pick a nice place in your home, 
And this is where you can start thinking about your layout. You played Sims before, start thinking about your layout. Where would you like your bed to be? Where's the best view? The master bedroom, madame. <laughs> Let me give you a tour of your house. No roof, but we have a bed. <laughs> so yeah, if you switch over to the bed, then you, there needs to be t needs to be two blocks free on the floor. So if you look down, to so try and find a space where it, it would yeah. fit in. And oh, oh, oh. the spider! Switch, switch, switch to your sword. Switch to the sword. I don't know. Switch to the sword. Okay, stay calm and composed. Just keep holding right trigger and keep holding right trigger and look to it. No, 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 no. go to the sword. Go to the sword. Go to the sword. No. Oh. Oh. Right, press A and you'll respawn. You need to try and make your way back to the house. So keep heading straight forward Ooh. is where you went when you started. I forgot to mention spiders can climb over walls. <laughs> all of the other things. Okay, okay, you're gonna be you're gonna have to charge now because there's gonna be things all uh, trying to take you out. You need to get to your stuff oh no. before it disappears. It disappears after a certain amount of I time. I don't know how to move. Oh no! <laughs> Come on, <laughs> everything you're doing. <laughs> <all different. laughs> oh no! The skeleton's shooting you. Stop looking at yourself. I don't want to be looking into my eyes. Right, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> run! Run I faster! Run faster! The zombies over there! You wanna go left? You wanna go left? Uh, you just wanna run past the skeleton. You can't take him out. Oh no, one more hit and you're going down. I... <laughs> no, 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 Press cancel, press cancel. You know, go to respawn. Okay, to sprint, you need to press forward twice. So you see that thing you're doing to go forward? Go yeah. forward, forward twice, and that's how you sprint. But you're, you're like, you're in a block. Oh. You're... <laughs> oh. You're gonna get killed by a zombie again. <laughs> oh, I just want to grab the controller right now. <laughs> <laughs> I did it twice. You're gonna go like really quick, like forward, forward. But like you're gonna Go have forward. to jump your way up like this. Oh. You're just gonna run into that wall uh, again. Oh no! <laughs> 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 zombie can they in go there. in the water? <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. they can go in the water. Okay, respawn. Do this tactically now. So respawn. I'm th think about it. Okay, so move to the right a bit. Try and avoid them. See where they are. If you don't get close to them, they won't see you. You gotta be stealthy. Stealthy, sneaky, stampy. Oh, it see me! <laughs> Go run, 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 They're slow, they're slow. So if you push forward twice, you can sprint. It doesn't That's work. it, there you go, you're sprinting. Oh. Now jump, you've got to keep jumping. Okay, keep jumping, go over the jump, hill. Jump, jump, you can't jump. jump over two blocks. You've got to go oh, around no. the side. Go to the uh, right. That's it, you're doing great. Uh, now go forward. That's it, you're doing perfect. Uh, Just ignore them, you'll be fine. Once you get to the house, you'll be fine. Okay. Go and jump, keep running. Keep running. <laughs> quick, quick, you want to go left a bit? It. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Uh, remember, remember how to sprint. Quick, well, you can do it. Sprint now. Sprint now. Uh, oh, no, I've respawned. <laughs> go, 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 go. Right, uh, same again. Same uh, again. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a spider again. You don't want to go that way. you got to go to your house. Uh, where's the house? Oh. You're going to lose all your things. They're going to be disappearing soon. So just try and stay away from everything. If, I know there's a lot of things. <laughs> you see why I had my panic yeah. before, didn't I? Of you having to, to sleep through the night. You can just sprint past them. If you just keep swinging right trigger as well, you can kind of punch uh, them back a bit as well. Knock them back. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of them. <laughs> oh, this isn't looking very I good. I <laughs> you hit the sheep! You hit the, the zombies and skeletons! Here we go. Just keep running. You can go. You can go. Go left a little bit. Oh, there's a dog there. There's a dog there. The dog's joining in the What's fight. Don't mean? hit the dog. The dog's going after the sheep. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, oh no. Okay, go go left. Go left. Okay, no, 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 no. Yeah. No, that's a creeper. That's yeah. do not because they boom. Okay. <laughs> okay, so go 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 left and try and try and go around around that hill because there's oh, not no. as many things around there now. So just stay calm. Panic over now. Composure. Stop yeah. pressing whatever you're pressing to go to that view. Okay, and avoid the creep. Don't let that creeper see you. Do not let him see you. Or that spider. The sheep are allowed to. The spider seen you. Okay, now you've got to run. Uh, sprint, sprint, I, I sprint, sprint. No, uh, not to the creeper. Not, no. to, not to the creeper. Away from the creeper. No! Uh, <laughs> it's not the spider. That's good. They're all dead now. Oh. The situation's dealt with itself. Everyone settled their differences. Right. So if you go back to first person view. That was obviously my intention. <laughs> just stay in for the stay in this view. <laughs> okay, now you can go around the hill and try and get back to your house. Okay. I think all your stuff's gone now. Oh. The good thing is you didn't have much, <laughs> which is which, which is the 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 uh, yeah the the silver lining to the cloud. Is that the, is that how the phrase goes? Every cloud is yeah. That yeah. is how it goes. It, I said it the the opposite order. Yeah. It sounded a bit odd. Here we go. You're good. Your hearts are going up. You see the bottom left. That's yeah. how much health you've got. Okay. So if you want to go to the right. And then forward. You can see can you see your house in the background? Oh yeah. Sprint to it, there. sprint. You've got to sprint. Ah. Yeah, your house won't disappear, it's just all this stuff. So sprint. Double tap ah. forward. I'm trying. Do it again really quick. Double tap forward. There you go, you did it. Then you've got to hold forward oh. afterwards. To carry on going forward. So it's double tap forward, then hold forward. That, that's it, really quick. Oh. Okay, then try and just jump over the wall. So jump, then jump again. Jump and then jump again. 
Oh, look, okay, okay, you're gonna have to go through the door. Oh, look, you got your bed. Uh, you got your bed back. That's good. You haven't lost your bed, right? Try and get through the door and try and sleep. You gotta be really quick. Uh, there's gonna be spiders. So turn around. Left trigger. There, all your stuff's there. Trigger. Okay, just run forward and grab all your stuff. Yes, yes, get the crafting table as well. Now turn around, and shut the door. Um, Left trigger. Uh, oh no, oh, what's no, that? Get, get your sword out. Get your sword oh, out. Get I, your sword out. Just I have it ready know. in case a spider jumps through. Now try and shut the door. Left trigger. There we go. Okay. You're not safe, so spiders, as you as you remember from l last attempt, so try and put the bed down if you can, but be ready to switch to the sword in case a spider Ooh. comes in. So you use the bumpers to switch through your items, then remember left triggers place items. So find a place to place the bed, you need two blocks of space. That's it, press left trigger now. Now move forward and press left trigger. <gasps> You're doing it! I can see the moon going down anyway, <laughs> but wait for it. Challenge Yay! one completed! You've slept in a house you've built, and something just hurt you, so oh. I'll, I'll deal with that, whatever that is. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what will hurt you there. I think, I think like, oh, it's a skeleton. <gasps> don't open the door. Don't open the door. He's just going to stand there burning. So the, the zombies and the skeletons, uh, they, they burn in the day. The okay. creepers and spiders don't. So I don't think you're safe now, even though it's day. Okay. But you managed to do it. You completed challenge <gasps> number one. Challenge number two is to bake a cake. Okay. And baking a cake is very, very simple. You need wheat. You need to get seeds to make a wheat farm. Okay. You need to get buckets of milk. You need to get iron to make the buckets. Then you can milk a cow. You need an egg. They just plop out chickens. They're easy peasy. And sugar, which you get from sugar cane. Okay. It's all very, very simple. First thing I reckon we should do is maybe reinforce the house a little bit. because, <laughs> And maybe put some torches up as well. So if you go out, go out your front door... What a beautiful day. We're going to go and try and upgrade some of your tools. So uh, if you guys, if you put your crafting table down inside your house for now. Inside. Yeah, then you can just, then you can, that, that can just stay there. That can be your crafting place. So pick a nice place. Where, where's a nice, a cor where's your corner of crafting? I would say to the left. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I would say on the ceiling. <laughs> so if you look down a little bit, uh... then press left trigger. You've created a corner of crafting. Yeah. Look at you. Now press left trigger. Um, on the crafting table and we're going to try and make yourself a pickaxe and so you've already got some st so for a pickaxe you need uh two sticks and three pieces of wooden plank you've already got that don't make any more sticks okay. so press right bumper and then press a and you'll make yourself a pickaxe okay good now if you go outside your front door oh. and you want to have a look around you want to find some stone and you want to mine the stone and then you can use the stone to make stone tools and then we're also going to, once we've got a stone pickaxe, we can go and try and find some coal. So see straight ahead of you, there's a bit of stone there. Oh, yeah. You see between the dirt. So if you go and use the pickaxe, it'll be a little bit slow because it's only a, a wooden pickaxe, but you can gather up some of that stone. And then we want to make yourself a stone sword. Pronto. You need protection. It'd be good to get you some armor as well. And oh, so you're I need a... <laughs> just clawing at it. Like... <laughs> so you want to switch to the pickaxe. And there we go. Hold right trigger and you'll mine it. There we go. Simple. Yay. So it's going to gather up, gather up quite a lot of this. Uh, all of the the, the grey ones, the the stone, and that that will give you cobblestone. So the way it works is you use the pickaxe for anything like stone or sandstone or uh, like for mining things. You use the pickaxe, and for things like dirt and sand and gravel, you use the shovel. Careful not to dig yourself into a hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What's okay. happened here? What's... <laughs> this is all right. So That's the good thing. You, yeah, you can just dig your way out. So if you get stuck, like a, a common tactic is called nerd polling, oh. where you look at the floor and you jump and keep placing blocks. So you can just pile up in the air to get to places. Oh, okay. Yeah, but if you go and grab up quite a lot of stone, so we can make a full set of stone tools, and then we're going to want to make a. If we make a stone axe for you as well, then you can gather up some wood. Then we can make some stone cool, uh, st uh, stone tools. And then we can go mining for some torches, uh, for some coal, sorry. Oh. Then we can use the, the coal to make torches. And we can light up your house in the area. And then that way, hopefully tomorrow night, won't be so traumatic for you. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. If you just get, you've probably got enough now. If you just walk forward to pick up all of the ones on the floor. And then try and get your way out of your little pit that you've, <laughs> you've made here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see, but there's actually a massive question mark floating above my sister's head right now. She's trying to work it out. Like, hmm, how... I can see the situation, but not the solution. I'm actually twisting my head to try, try to and get a up. better view. Le trying to lean around the side of the TV to see what's behind it. Okay, so... If you just go forward, if you just look up a little bit... I have a plan. 
Okay, so you want to kind of build a little staircase. So if yeah, if you break that block and then one above you as well, that should actually be enough. You might be able to jump straight out. There we go. Now walk forward and jump. That was my plan. Awesome. Okay, so now you want to go back to your crafting table. Go back to crafting corner. <laughs> Nettie's craft. We can make a sign and put yeah. up a sign saying Nettie's crafting corner. Should we do that? Yes. Okay, good. So if you go to the... Well, actually, if you go grab some of those bones and arrows as well, because we saw some dogs earlier, you could actually get a pet dog if you give it a bone. Ooh. Give a dog a bone. So if you go forward and just pick that up. There we go. Now, now go back inside to Nettie's crafting corner. Ooh. And press left trigger. I can't remember what we're doing. Oh yeah, we're making an axe, aren't we? So we want to make some some stone tools. So uh, you've you've not got many sticks yet. So the first thing you make is a stone axe, so you can make some uh, to cut down some wood, so you can make more tools. So press right bumper to go to the tools and weapons tab. And then you want to go across twice. Now if you press down, you can see that's a stone axe there. So now if you press A. Voila! You now have Yay. a stone axe. Oh, just... So, yeah, if you press B, and now if you press Y, the yellow one at the top, this is so, along the bottom, these, that's everything that you've got at hand quickly. So you normally okay. have your tools along there, then you'd have all your other materials up top. So if you use the left wibbly stick and wibble it up, or you can use the arrows as well as another way to do it. You want to grab the axe. Ooh, Ooh easy. Ooh. If you use the arrows, it might be a bit easier if you use them. <laughs> there we go. Then if you press A, and then if you want to go down, and then if you go to something that you're not going to use, maybe the stick or that little sapling or something, then press A again, then your switch. And then if you go up and press A, then you place the stick somewhere there. And there you go. You now got your, your axe at hand. And so if you press B, you'll get out of the, the infantry screen. Then you can turn around, leave the house, and you want to go and find yourself a tree. Oh, that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I think he heard us coming. So if you switch to your wooden axe, you're now going to cut down this tree a lot quicker than when you're punching it with your fist. So uh, if you go all the way along to the wooden axe, then if you just hold, <laughs> go around again just for fun. Oh, which one? Left, right one. There we go. That, that, that's your wooden axe. So now if you hold right trigger, oh. then you're going to swing the axe. Then you want to get to the, the tree. And the way trees work is when you break the leaf blocks, they have a chance of dropping saplings. And then you use saplings uh. to plant more trees. And so it keeps going. And you also sometimes get apples falling from trees as well, which would be very useful. So we've not really uh, done much thought about food. So once you've cut down the tree, you want to go and plant a new tree. We're very oh, green here. Oh, and an apple as well. An apple fell down. A juicy apple. <laughs> <gasps> and so if you look down at the floor, it's lovely, isn't it? Then uh, go along, press left on for a bit. You can go along and then you can go and place a sapling. You had one on you anyway that you got from earlier. So if you press the left bumper, Oh, there you go. So another one just fell on your head. Yeah. <laughs> so press left bumper, left bumper. Now press left trigger and you'll place it. Remember, that's how you place things. There you go. You've placed a sapling. Oh. Now, if you move across a bit, you can place one not right next to it. To remember, a, a tree is growing from it and place one somewhere else. Oh. Yeah. And then, then it's renewable. You see, you can come back and cut down another tree a little bit later on. Oh, there's loads. Yeah, you can go grab some more. You, you can also use saplings as flu uh, fuel as well in furnaces. You can burn the saplings. But there you go. There's a few more. If you want to plant a few around here, then you have a whole little forest. Nettie's little woods. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so if you look down at the floor and press left trigger, then you'll you're, you're press. The, you probably won't need too many of these, but if you just plant a few trees around the face. So there's, there's not many trees here, to be honest. There's different biomes in this game. So sometimes, I think this is like a Greenland. Sometimes there's swamps or snowy biomes or like all sorts of different things. Uh, and the sun is starting to go down already. Okay, panic time. Turn around. <laughs> 360. Now go forward. Okay, we'll forget about getting coal. That's going to be too difficult for now. For now, we just want to make a furnace to make charcoal. So if you go to the crafting table, press left trigger. You then want to go... Uh, I'll see where the crafting table is. You want to go along to the right a bit. No, no, oh. if you press left bumper. Oh. If you go back to the first one, now just press use the arrows. Go along to the right to the crafting table. Stop. Now if you press down, you can see there's a furnace. So if you press A, you're going to make a furnace. Ta-da! Now press B. Yeah. And now you can choose where you want to put the furnace. I recommend just right next to the crafting table. Oh, now I press bed. left trigger. Yeah, that's fine. Hopefully it won't burn your bed. Okay, now we want to make some charcoal. So if you press X, oh. then you bring up the crafting menu. Then just press A uh, twice. Okay, now press B. You've basically made some more wooden planks. Now if you press left trigger, you'll go and look inside of the furnace. You stick your head in the furnace to see what's going on inside. And so you place the fuel on the bottom and then the ingredient on the top. And to make charcoal, you need uh, uh, to cook wood, basically. So if you take the wooden blocks, the oak blocks, you see next to the apple at the top. If you go up, I sit down a little bit. If you press A, and then if you put that in the ingredient side, that's what you're going to be cooking. And then you need to put something underneath that can burn it. And you can actually use the wooden planks 
And if you go and grab and, and put maybe uh, two wooden planks in where it yeah. says fuel, uh, then you'll be able to cook the wooden blocks. Oh, where's the wooden plank? Uh, you see next to the, oh, the yeah. map down at the bottom? Up a little bit. If you use the arrows, you might find it easier because then you can yeah. just move up like bit by bit like that. There we go. Ooh. So now now if you press X, you'll only place one in at a time. So if you press X twice, let's say press X again. Now now go put your wooden planks back down and you'll quick select. Um. Or just press A somewhere. There we go. Now you're doing it. Look, you see that little thing? It's good cross. There you go. You got a Yay. piece of charcoal. Hey, I think you might need to put some more wooden planks in though. I don't know if that's going to do it. Oh no, it looks good. There you go, you're gonna have enough. So that's gonna give you two pieces of charcoal and you can use that to make four torches. So if you go grab the charcoal, you have to be quickly now, so it's gonna be getting dark. <laughs> and if you go and press A on it, there you go, then bring it down. Oh God, I can see it getting dark already. Okay, Here so if you- Here too, uh, Place it anywhere. It doesn't have to be down at the bottom, it can oh. just be anywhere. Don't put it next to the apple. We get all soot all on the apple. Now press B. We're gonna make some torches. So with torches, you need sticks and either coal or charcoal. So if you press X, then you want to go right one and make some sticks. See where the sticks are next to the wooden planks? So if you press A once, there you go, then you, you've now got five sticks. And now if you press right bumper, I think once maybe? Uh, yeah, then if you go see on the far right, you can see there's a little torch there. Almost on the far right. See the little torches? Yeah. There you go, now press A. Press A again. There you go, you've got eight torches now. So if Yay. you press B, then you want to go and put your torches in your quick select down at the bottom. I'll leave you to do that. Do you know how to do that? Okay, I'm just going to tell you because it's getting dark. Press Y <laughs> to bring up your inventory. And then you want to go grab the torches. See that there next to the apple? I love why I use the apple to, <laughs> to, to put everything around it. Right, so if you grab the torches and put it down, and then you press left trigger to place the... Once you've grabbed them, to place them. And you want to be really oh. quick because I think you left your door open as well. Oh, no. Oh, they're not there. Okay, you just want to place the map anywhere else. Oh. There you go. Okay, now press B. Okay, now go to your torches really quick now. And the first thing I'll do is shut your door. Oh, I don't... Quick, 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 quick. Shut the door. Shut the door. It's getting dark now. It's only just started getting dark now. So, okay. so if you press right bumper, once again. Okay, you've now got torches, so you can place them okay. on walls. So if you press left trigger, just put a few around the place. Oh, lovely. Put one over it. You're going to light up Nettie's crafting corner so you can <laughs> yes. see what you're crafting. <laughs> there we go. And then as quick as you can, jump into bed. Uh, oh, quick as you can. Ow. We still don't have a roof yet, so I things are still climbing how. over. So look, look down at this. You want to look down at your pillow? And there we go. Your third night in Minecraft. Oh, yeah. You've done it. Woo, well done. <laughs> I feel so stressed. <laughs> oh, dear. But you've got, you got a whole other day ahead of you, so we can relax for a little bit. And hopefully this one's going to be a lot calmer. Sadly, though, we have just about run out of time in episode number two of the Sister Challenge. And so are you enjoying yourself so far? Yes. Do you feel like you're learning? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So that's the end of this video here. There'll be a link in the description to part number three of my sister challenge once I've uploaded it. I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>